Uh, what, I'm what communities? Greg Evers. Uh, I represent the uh, District 1 in the Florida House, which encompasses the northern portion of Escambia, pretty much all of Santa Rosa, and just a small amount of Okaloosa County. What, in the best case scenario, um, when there's relatively limited impacts, uh, a lot of the oil is cleaned up, uh, the chemicals that are being put into the water don't have multiplier effects. What's the kind of the least effect that you see happening to the, the residents of, of your district? Well, we've already received a tremendous uh, impact because we're losing uh, hotel reservations, the restaurants are losing, uh, the attractions uh, companies here in town, they're losing business. And it's all because of folks believing that that it's going to be a terrible impact from that, and it's not even here yet. Has but has fishing been shut down in this region? Not fishing hasn't been shut down, other than where the plume is. But there is the possibility. Yes, fishing will be shut down. Uh, the hotels, but look, we've still got beaches. The water is clean. You know, folks are still not coming because they're anticipating this being. And this is one reason that we'll be asking BP to actually come up with some upfront money that we can get the word out, whatever the conditions are. Uh, also, if worst case scenario, and we have to put folks up, uh, and, and have volunteers to come in. They would be able to actually come in, uh, work, and, and volunteer to you know, clean the animals or pick up tire balls or whatever needs to be done on the beach. Uh, and you know, while they're here, why not go to the Naval Air Museum? You know, why not walk the streets down? The beach? And then, uh, one of, then there's the question of. Um, you know, if you look at the Exxon Valdez, that's something that's had, it's still having an impact on those communities 20 years later. Uh, what? This is I mean, one I, of the reason that BP is not actually closing uh, their their loss. Uh, when you file for a loss, BP will pay uh, those claims as they come in, but they will not close those claims because we do not know what the outreach and the loss will actually be in, in years to come. And if we take this back from just the kind of the economic question, the hard numbers, what 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 does the ocean mean to the people here? I know that uh, boating industry to the state of Florida means some thirty-five million dollars a year. But, but even for the people, I mean, for the people, what what does it mean that this is you know the on the coast that this is that the coast, the beaches? Uh, what does that mean for the people, uh, the community? I mean, is it is it if you took the coast away? What 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 but would you have to understand? This is our way of life. Those beaches, those white sands. That's our way of life. That's things that I grew up with as a child, and to protect those is of utmost importance. Uh, the beaches, uh, the tourism to this area is extremely important. So we must protect that at all costs. There is even a discussion of actually pushing the white sand up in a pile along the beach. Once makes clean up a little easier where we come through. We actually clean up the oil slick and then we still have our white sand that we can put back on the beach. So there's, there's anticipation of things out there that we're looking at that will preserve our white beaches and our white sand and our way of life. And then the, the last question is I know that there's federal legislation that got through the Senate Energy Committee that would open up the Destin Dome, which I guess is 25 miles off of Pensacola, to uh, natural gas drilling. Is that something that you're comfortable with? At this point, no, I'm definitely not comfortable with it until the actual safety precautions are put in place before any drilling is done, whether it even be off the coast of Texas right now. <laughs>